Hi, this is Todd Oltoff, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. Launch applications have been around the Mac for years, and two of the more popular launchers today are Alfred and LaunchBar. We've covered both of these applications in the past, but the last time we covered LaunchBar was in 2014, where we covered the version 6 update. Since then, there have been a number of added features, so we thought it was due for another look. I will start this screencast with a review of some of the keyboard actions used to activate the actions in LaunchBar, and then cover some of the newer features since our last screencast. So if you haven't watched the previous show, I would recommend doing that before watching this screencast. So let's get started with a review of some of the keyboard actions used in LaunchBar 6. LaunchBar is an application similar to Spotlight that allows you to search your Mac. It also allows you to take action on certain things that you find, all while using the keyboard only. So you can keep your hands on the keyboard and you don't have to use the mouse. Now for me to invoke LaunchBar, it's Command Spacebar, and you can see there's the LaunchBar window. That's the same keyboard combination for Spotlight, and so you can set it up however you want. I like to replace Spotlight with LaunchBar because I can do so many other things with it, but that's up to you on how you want to use them because you can use Spotlight and LaunchBar side by side if you'd like. Now within LaunchBar, I can start to do searches. And so if I do a search, let's say for my movies folder, I just type MO and you can see it goes to movies and brings up some other things that it thinks I might want with that particular search combination. Now let's just say, for instance, I don't want movies to come up when I type MO. I'd rather have Mosaic come up. Well, I can use the arrow key and go down to Mosaic, and then I can just come over here, click right here, and if I go all the way down in this menu, I can assign that abbreviation to Mosaic. I could also type something else. Let's just say instead of MO, I want, uh, let's say, MS. So that's going to be Mosaic from now on. So I'm going to come in here. I'll type launch bar. Let's go ahead and come off of this. One more time, I'll do MS, and you can see now it's assigned that particular abbreviation to this particular application. So what's nice is you can go through and customize what comes up when you type certain things so that it fits your own workflow. All right, let's go ahead and start again. Let's say now I want to go into my Movies folder, so I'm going to say MO. You can say it shows Mosaic, but I want my Movies folder right here. And so I just go ahead and select it. And what I can do, if I just tap the right arrow, you can see that now it's starting to browse the file system. So these are all the different folders that are inside my movie folder. What I can do now is I can target my search to this particular folder and now start to type what I'm looking for in that folder. So type my name and you can see that all of these different, just with TO, all these different things come up here and that can help me navigate the file system. So I can do a sub search within particular folders or applications just by right arrowing into them first and then starting to type the search. Now, the other thing I can do is reveal particular details about an item. So if I come down here and if I just go ahead and hit the right arrow, you can see that now I have details about that particular item. So this is a photos PDF, and what it's giving me is all kinds of information about the PDF just by arrowing in. So that's revealing details, and you can do that on anything. You can do it on applications, you can do it on various files, but it just gives you details about what that particular item is right at your fingertips. I can also navigate back up just by hitting the left arrow, and I can go back up to where I started, or I can even go further if I go with the back arrow, now all of a sudden here is the next level up of my file system. So again, I've done this just with the keyboard. I haven't used the mouse other than just trying to assign the abbreviation. So you can see how easy it is to start to navigate these things. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, 
Visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.